workload, policy analysis, and enforcement. So before we can apply policy, we're gonna have to analyze it. You're gonna leverage not only the tools and capabilities of the platform, but also additional teams, whether you're NetOps, SecOps, or application teams. We have the opportunity here to select a range, or we can do a custom setting as well. We can use the slider bar and go ahead and start the analysis. Now, we'll give this a reason. You should give it a name as well um, and a description. I'm just gonna put down a reason. In this case, we're doing some validation around a specific policy. And what we'll end up seeing is, is that some flows are permitted, rejected, and escaped. If they're escaped, it, they are non-compliant and should be investigated. Rejected and permitted usually fall in line and conform to policy or the policy we're about to deploy. Now, with escaped, what it means is, is that even after enforcement, when we go ahead and do enforcement, we're actually seeing um, these um, connections trying to be established. So we might want to be, uh, or we might want to consider whether or not these should be allowed, or maybe upstream we can use an L3, L4 control to ensure that these communications are not taking place and they're reaching the host themselves. Either or, escape needs to be addressed. So we've went ahead and we've run the analysis. We can then move into enforcement. And like I said, you may have moved um, additional controls in place for those escape flows. So whether that be on the host or like I said, upstream, you've addressed them. Now we're gonna go ahead and enforce this policy. And this is the one that is available that we've just done the analysis with. We're gonna give this a reason. And now we're starting to see segmentation come to realization. Now, when you hit that deploy, the thing is, is it only takes roughly 30 to 90 seconds for policies to be enforced. Look at the web server. We can see our workloads here. We've got um, two web servers, dot four and dot five. We're gonna look at dot four, and that's gonna be our use case here. And we can go ahead and pivot into the workload profile. And when we do that, we can pivot over to policies we can see that the agent type is in enforcement, and here's our policies that are actually resident on that asset. We can go through here. We can also do things like fetch the stats to see any packets and bytes coming inbound, but this is a quick way to see what policies are being enforced on the asset itself. Again, Cisco Secure Workload is providing the ability to understand what is required. There's a human element usually in, in play to validate, and then access is granted and denied. But access is only granted for applications that are allowed to be accessed or services. So you can see we've got to that web server one. That's expected. If we try to SSH, we're going to get a timeout. So that's segmentation in action within a few minutes. We've got this deployed. We're removing the attack vectors. We're securing the environment. Easy peasy.